Hello, just wanted to show you what's inside a compact fluorescent bulb. Um, these things, you normally last quite a while, uh, but I'm getting a lot of them that are not lasting as long because they're inside of the ceiling like this, and the heat from the lamp goes up into here. There's no way for it to uh, dissipate heat, and unfortunately, even though this bulb is supposed to be rated for quite some time, um, it's having issues. So let's have a crack at this. Now you see I've already opened it up, but I haven't done anything. I just want to show you how it's done. There's essentially a seam here, and if you place the screwdriver in here, and you give it a little bit of a pry, it will snap open. And uh, hopefully, it will do so as it did a moment ago, without shattering anything like the glass because uh, you, the last thing you want is to break this thing okay so you heard it pry open okay and there you go it opens up like so okay so there's the leads going to the uh, down to the base of the bulb okay goes into the circuit board which is right here I'll have a little bit closer look at it now I'm going to cut this because I don't need it and for the sake of the video it's easier if I just pry the circuit board up. You've got for these compact fluorescents you basically have two arcs forming there's a filament here and a filament there and then it's just like a, a regular fluorescent bulb that's linear except that it's coiled up to save space. So I'm going to cut this here. Okay. And I'll cut another one here. Okay, and that shows you what's on the inside. Okay, so this is sealed up. These go into the glass, this goes into the glass, and there's the circuit board. I'm going to use this little magnifying glass to show you a little closer view. Okay, and then on the other side, there's the circuit board. There's uh, the layout. Okay, it's one huge capacitor in here that's uh, standing off from the rest of the board. Doesn't look like that failed. Um, so a good question is what exactly brought this light bulb to failure? And there's no real obvious physical damage. Not, nothing I can see. I am pretty sure heat was the problem something overheated. I'm fairly confident on that, uh, but can't figure out what it is. There are uh, diodes here, as you can see, one, two, three, four, okay, uh, presumably without knowing the, how these work exactly, when you see four diodes you, on an AC circuit, you think it's a bridge rectifier of some kind. There's a transformer, and a number of other components here. Two different uh, capacitors and uh, several other types of capacitors here. A toroid, and that's it. So that's essentially what's inside, at least a good brand like Noma, um, complex fluorescent bulb. And just as a word of warning, when you're replacing a lot of these bulbs, they are not designed to perform well, especially in areas where they're mounted upside down, like in the ceiling. They're great for lamps that sit, um, you know, like desk lamps, where it's like this. Why? Because any heat generated from the bulb, heat in here, what do these do get hot. Despite being fluorescent, they do get hot. The heat from that will go straight up and of course right into the circuit board and what you want is them to stay like this so the heat from the bulb emanates away they also should be in places that are open so that you don't have uh, you know the there should be air flowing past the bulb if it's enclosed in a dome or a globe or some kind of other um, fixture that prevents airflow you'll also get overheating and of course these will fail prematurely so there you have it, in case you ever wondered what's inside one of these bulbs. Thanks again. And
and hope you have better luck with your compact fluorescent bulbs. Thank you.